find product links below and hundreds more videos on my channel. Hi everyone, welcome back. So this is the Canova Rotary Dolly system. It's a system that's really on the high end of what's currently available on the market with regards to features and usability, as well as size and uh, weight capacity and quality, and also with adaptability and, uh, and upgradability. So, uh, for those of you that want something uh, that's at a lower budget than this, because obviously with those features, this does come at a higher price point. But uh, quite a while ago, I reviewed the uh, Canova KSD 2000. Let me show you that. Here it is. This is a very similar dolly that's uh, a similar size, really, really solid build and a really wide base, which works great, but uh, doesn't have uh, most of the advanced features that are on the radial dolly. So this is a lower cost option that's still really superb, and I still really, really love this system. So uh, the Canova uh, radial dolly is based around having three wheels, and it is a very, very solid unit. It's made from really, really thick aluminium. It's not too heavy, but it is just, I mean, it is on the heavier side uh, compared to other dollies like, like the KSD 2000 and, um, and it is just incredibly solid. I'm not sure if you could, um, I mean, I think, I think you could skateboard on this. I'm not really, I mean, I'm not sure. Don't hold me to that, but, um, but it's really, really strong. So I think this could even hold up the weight of a person. I'm not sure, but uh, definitely for the weight of cameras, I mean, this thing is just, super super rugged and um and so it, so far from my use with this i can just see that it's really really well made so uh, i'm really really happy about the build quality as well as the weight capacity although personally for me i do uh, prefer a lighter weight unit since i don't use really really huge cameras so if it's only for use as a dolly and you need to travel with it then you're probably going to want to go with the ksd 2000 but that, uh, like I said, that doesn't have the advanced features that this does. So, okay, first of all, we've got uh, a base here that allows you to tilt, which means that if you either change the screw here, which is pretty easy to do, to uh, a standard, because uh, this, this is the standard, this is the 3 8 inch for an actual head to go on here on or a quick release system. But uh, if you change this to a quarter inch, which is easy to do from the underside, you just undo two screws and then you can change the screw. So if you do that, then uh, you'd be able to uh, use the camera directly on here. But generally, you probably want to go with either a quick release system or a bullhead or something like that. Just something that'll, um, yeah, just make it easier to connect. But what this allows you to do is it allows you to connect the camera really low to here, like with a quick release system, and then allows you to tilt without having to have the extra height of a ball head. So it allows you to get really, really low to the ground, but still have full tilt ability. And um, so I think that's really, I think that's really great. And uh, and this base here does give you a really, really strong um, connection. And so so it's a, it's a really, really strong base, really thick base. And this does also mean that if you remove this screw, you could use other systems if needed. I mean. Re most of the time, you really won't need to remove that screw, but uh, the fact that it's removable is, uh, is is a good thing, I think. Now, it does have uh, connectability for extra things uh, all over the unit, which is good because this system was intended to be uh, used with accessories. Now, first of all, uh, this does come with it, which is a laser system. What this allows you to do is it allows you to connect it at any point to one of the wheels and then it allows you to align it using a laser. So this uh, connects like that and then uh, it comes with the laser and uh, and it also holds the laser in the on position uh, I'm not sure if you can see that in the video, but it holds the laser in the on position while um, you, while you do the move if needed so that you can check that it's not moving further away from, because uh, obviously you want to keep focus. So that allows you to check that it's not moving further away or closer to your subject and that it's not turning away from your subject. And uh, you can do that, obviously uh, this tilts like that. And so that allows you to perfectly aim at the floor, uh, at the point where your subject is going to be, or, or, or on the table or the surface or whatever. And so obviously, while it, as it turns around that, 
you can see with the laser whether it's uh, whether it's going to move or not and then make adjustments for that. And it does make it a lot easier to adjust the wheels when you have a laser system like this. And it can sit at any point um, on the wheels, like uh, either side, and uh, and then it aims to that, to the sort of the, to the exact side of the wheel. So it doesn't aim where the wheel's aiming, it's aiming where to allow you to, to see which, you know, in which circle it's gonna go in. So uh, I think that is awesome. Really, really well thought out. And I love the fact that if you clip it in the correct position, it, uh, it holds down the button of the laser. And I think that should work with pretty much any laser that you would wanna put here if you wanted to use your own laser for some reason, but it does come with a laser. It's a laser and torch little thing. So, I mean, no, that's, that's perfect. Uh, I don't see any reason to change this over. But of course, you know, if you needed to, then you could. And um, in the same uh, place where this connects using these two little things, the same places where that connects, you have, uh, let me move this. So over here we have this uh, connection point, which you can put on again on any wheel on either side of the wheel. And um, what that allows you to do is it allows you to connect a Canova motor kit to this and then uh, do time-lapse or motorized moves or repeatable moves, that sort of thing. So uh, this is basically a stud that connects to that. And then you can uh, really quickly attach and adjust the motor. And uh, what this also allows you to do is it allows you to lock the motor on like that. So obviously then uh, that's touching the motor here. So this wheel isn't gonna turn now, but it allows you to really, really easily release the motor from the wheel to allow the wheel to turn so that you can do a dry run without the without the motor system. And then uh, you make sure that it's aiming in the correct way, then connect the motor system, and then you're good to go to actually do the motorized move. You can disconnect the motor so that you can do your move by hand and make sure that it's, you know, the, you're doing the exact thing that you want it to be doing. So I think that's awesome. And it also, again, allows you to just disconnect it really, really, really quickly. So um, yeah, I think that's nice. And then uh, this motor system, you could connect to the basic motor or you could connect it to the, um, sorry, to, to the motor controller or you could connect it to the smart controller. And so uh, the smart controller will give you a uh, little more options with regards to doing start stop moves and um, stop motion, that sort of thing. So um, the smart motion controller, I mean, I really like the smart motion controller. That's the one that I have. And uh, that of course is uh, a separate kit. The motor and the controller are something that uh, that's sold separately. Now the system has a lock, which is a uh, ground lock. So it basically uh, connects to the ground to lock the system. So you can see it here like that. And uh, when I move it, like that, it goes down and presses down against the floor to prevent this thing from moving. And that does work really, really nicely. And uh, yeah, and it basically locks all your wheels all at once. So yeah, it's nice. Uh, no problem with that so far. Would have maybe been nice to have individual locks for the wheels, but I'm not really sure if that would have uh, made much of a difference. Now, the wheel adjustment has markings, uh, which are pretty, um, precise uh, down to around one millimeter, which is great. Uh, it does have a little point right there, so you can you know write the um, at the front of the wheel, and that means that you can do repeatable um, moves if needed in another location or another time. So if you want to, so if you want to remember that when you were one meter away from your subject and uh, you did a certain move around that subject, then uh, you'd write down the numbers or remember them. And then when you needed to do that again, you would just measure a meter to your subject and then set your wheels to the same positions again and you can do the same move again. And I think that's awesome. I think that's really nice. Now, these locks over here for the wheel adjustments are really nice and uh, high quality, and so is the wheel. The, the, wheel, the wheels themselves are really well made. They are really, really grippy, which is good because with a system like this, you don't want it to slide around at all. You want them to grip the ground and really do the turn that you want, uh, especially with three wheels. 
And uh, so I think I think that's great. And uh, you know, I have used a really cheap system where the wheels didn't have enough grip, and um, it just slid around uh, too much. On on even though they were rubber, it slid around too much. So here with really really grippy wheels, I think uh, I think that's great. Now, as I mentioned, we have a 3 8 inch connection over here, which is removable. So you could use pretty much whatever you want on there, but the 3 8 inch should fit uh, most heads. Uh, in fact, all heads that I know of would fit this. And so you could use a, uh, a bull head like this if you wanted to, or a fluid head, or you know, whatever is suitable for your needs, or just a quick release plate if you wanna stay really, really low to the surface. And this thing here is uh, adjustable, so after you lock it down, you can uh, sort of ratchet it out and move it into a different position. And so, uh, you know, to make sure that that doesn't get in the way. Okay, so here's the basic motion control system. Of course, this uh, laser system is also part of that. And you can fit all of this once it's on uh, there. You can fit everything into the uh, case that came with the radial control dolly. Obviously, you know, it would, it would you know, sort of bulge the case a little bit, but you can fit it all into there nicely together, which is, uh, you know, it's a nice carrying option and it is uh, nice and protective for the electronics as well. So let me show you how that connects. It's actually really, really simple after the first time you do it, where you know, you'd know you be you know setting up the cables and stuff and finding out what goes where, but overall it is really, really uh, simple and quick to connect. So the, uh, the motor connects to there. Uh, the first time you get this, you have to screw these, um, uh, this connection point to whichever wheel you would like to have it connected to. And um, yeah, I mean, it comes with an Allen key, I think, uh, if I remember correctly, it did come with an Allen key. Uh, or a hex key, and so you connect that to there, and uh, I've connected it to there just because it allows me to put this away uh, pretty, you know, in a pretty compact way. It sort of folds inwards when I need to. And then the, uh, the motor controller, this is the Canova Smart Controller, that I would connect somewhere like here. I mean, it's really up to you, uh, but somewhere like this, that I've connected it with a tiny little uh, friction arm. And uh, these are just one of my own brand um, arms that are available in my shop, really, really cheap. Um, I didn't mean for this to be an advert for that, but that's just what I used for that. And uh, you could use, you know, just a standard uh, seven inch arm or, or 11 inch arm, whichever you prefer, uh, you know, the, the friction arm things. And then you would have a cable that goes from the controller to the junction box. And you'd have a power cable or battery system, whichever you, uh, whichever you buy. But uh, over here, I've used a I've used my um, power wall system, and then that would plug into there. So let's actually, I might as well plug that in. So that would connect over here. You'd have this to control the camera if needed. Some cameras won't need that. Uh, for example, if you're recording video, but you know, for time-lapse stuff, if you wanna set the camera off using this instead of using the camera's own software or something else like an external, intervalometer, then uh, you could use this to control the camera. And then you would have a cable that goes from the motor to the junction box. And that connects over there. And so this does look a little uh, like a lot of wires, but once you get it out of the way, uh, these I would keep uh, folded up. And then mostly the only one that you would have um, sort of moving around is the power cable. If you chose to use this with a power cable instead of the battery pack. If you had the battery pack, then you can just place these on top like next to the motor and they won't get in the way. Or if you're using the power cable instead of a battery pack, then you just need to make sure that the power cable is just aiming away from the um, direction that this is moving. So obviously, so it doesn't get stopped by the cable as it moves. But um, yeah, I mean, I had no problem with, you know, a few wires like this takes uh, a minute or so to, to connect. And uh, yeah, I mean, for me, it works great. And like I said, I mean, you could just place it right here next to the motor, maybe just uh, use 
one of the straps that came with the slider or the uh, motor kit uh, or you know, oh whatever, just some Velcro just to hold it so it doesn't fall or something. But, but you know, pretty nice and easy to use. And then over here you'd set up whatever you'd like to use on there. And I'm gonna show you this with the uh, motion control head in case you wanna see that uh, set up. Okay, so here is the complete motion control system with the dolly. We've got the smart motion controller, the pan tilt head with the Sony A7. And then here we have the battery pack and that is just sitting on top of the motor with the cables that are needed. And then the cables that need to go this way are going uh, one over here to the uh, smart controller and then one over to the motor and uh, basically these cables shouldn't get in the way, but you have to make sure that you're paying attention to whether they're getting in the way or not because you don't want them to, you know, to pull something or whatever. So uh, here we have the system. I've set it to, uh, as you can see, it sort of uh, starts and stops gradually. And of course you can turn that off. I've gone into all the menu options of the uh, motion system with, uh, in, in a totally separate video. And so you can see that the exact same controls apply to this, just as if you were mo moving, um, you know, a slider. And so we've got that. Of course, these same moves can be done uh, for stop motion, for uh, for time lapse, that kind of thing. But here I'm just showing you the live motion, and um, we can go into here, and uh, we can control the uh, the motor. And of course, it's something that you could use um, for, uh, again, for motion control, time lapse, stuff like that. And, and of course, the motor and the, uh, the movement can be done at the same time. And uh, I've gone into all that in the separate video about it. Let me show you this separate from the, uh, from the camera. I've just attached this onto here with a hot shoe thing. A bit too tight. There we are. So this way, if I wanted to, I could uh, just control it with my hand like this and uh, over here I've got the um, sort of dampening turned off, which is the uh, the gradual starting and stopping. Now, uh, this kind of motor isn't really what I would choose for live motion. For that, I would just use a dolly and a fluid head, but for time-lapse and stop motion, this kit is awesome. Really, really cool. And, uh, and of course, if you do want to have this high off the ground or something like that, then you would use this system with a slider. Okay, so now with regards to the speed of setup, it is really quick once you have done the first setup. So for example, I've set up all my electrical things here with a battery pack, and that's just got a cable running to the controller, which I can hold by hand or, or, hold, or place on the system, and then one cable going into the motor. And so I would basically find where this goes and that connects right there. And I place that there, lock it down, plug this into there. This thing just screws onto there like, a, like any other head would. And this goes in that direction and that's it i'm now ready to go so this has its own case of course and so you know add to what i've just shown you here the time it takes to screw this onto there so really really fast uh setup and uh, especially considering this goes in its own case this can go in its own case and then that goes in its own case and so you know the things are well protected but at the same time get a really really quick um setup time so i think that's really great so overall, what I found with this system is that it's really well made, extremely uh, high quality and rugged and can hold up to a lot of weight. And uh, again, really, really versatile with the ability to just really quickly disconnect everything and, uh, and use this as just a unit like this with no cables going to the wall if needed, you know, if you use the battery pack. And uh, 
I think it's a really awesome kit. I think it's for its price. Obviously, this I never said this was a, a cheap unit, but for its price, it's really, really good value. So you get a lot of stuff here. And compared to a lot of the other stuff on the market, it's giving you a lot more and it's giving you that at a really good price. So um, I hope you found this uh, helpful. By the way, this is the um, this is the Sony A7. So uh, this kit might actually look quite uh, big in comparison, but this is a very small camera, and um, well, well, you know, a, a pretty a pretty small camera. And uh, okay, so. Thanks for watching. I hope you found this review helpful. I uh, I really like this system and it works well with my uh, you know with my other with the Canova system I already have the motion control system. So the dolly just gives me uh, the ability to you know do uh, more shots when needed, and uh, yeah I think it's awesome. So um, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Don't forget to subscribe.